Hello everyone, my name is Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to BISP Set Learning Video Broadcast Studio. Today I am going to tell you about how to create job position report using Salesforce data source. So first of all let me tell you my scenario that what I would like to do is then I will tell you how to create a report from Salesforce data source. As you can see here this is my data model. This, this data model is from my Salesforce and I have got position, job application, review, candidate and job posting objects in my Facebook. And now I have few queries that I would like to create report based on a particular object or different type of reports. My re I have different type of requirements and I would, I would like to create report based on those requirements. So let's talk about the requirements. So these are my requirements that list of positions, list of open positions, list of open positions in HR functional area and so these up to list of position we are travel required. So these are my requirements. So let's see how to first of all let's see how to connect to click view with Salesforce. This I have already explained in my previous video also but for your ease I will I'm going to tell you again and then I will be going to tell you how to create report based on these requirements. So first of all I switch to my click view. This is my Salesforce. First of all, you see this is my Salesforce, and in this Salesforce, I have position candidate Wikipedia of these po this position object, and in this position object, I have got number of records. So I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight or nine number of records. Now I would like to connect ClickView with Salesforce, and then I would like to extract the data from Salesforce into ClickView, and then I will going I'm I will be going to generate report based on this requirement. So First of all, I'll open my click view over here. In this click view, I'll go to edit script. In this edit script, first of all, I will be going to create a connection with Salesforce. Now to create a connection with Salesforce, you need a Salesforce DLL provider over here, so which I have already downloaded and installed on my system. And then click on connect. When I click on connect, it will ask for a username. This will be, so this will be your Salesforce user ID and password. So I enter my password over here. Now with along with password I need a security token also. So if you go through my previous video I have already told you how to reset the security token. So here I have got a security token. I have already reset my security token. So I will be going to use the same token over here and click on test connection. So it is saying that the previous security token will not be going to use. It means we need to reset the security token again. So I will go to my settings, personal, reset my security token and click on reset security token. The security token has been resetted and it has been sent on my mail ID. So I will be going to check on mail ID. This is my mail ID and I have got the security token over here. So I copy the security token from here and paste along with password. Test connection and it's saying that test connection was successful. I click on OK and OK. So as soon as I click on OK, I got a connection string over here. Now I will be going to, so now I will be going to load the data set over here. So I click on select and from, from the open dialog, I will be going to select the position object or the position object as a data feature. It's opening and so after successful connection and after I clicked on this dialog you can see this dialog box is open and from here I will be going to select the position object over here so as, as a table so I select position over here and click on ok it has been added over here and I'm going to save and click on reload. So when I click on reload, it will connect to Salesforce and it will reload the data from Salesforce into my click view and then I will be going to generate report as per the requirement. So the, the record has been successfully fetched over here. I click on close. Okay, now let's move on to our requirements. So my first requirement is I would like to show the list of positions. So I right click on the blank area over here and new sheet object and a table box and in this table box I will be going to select name then I would like 
maximum pay, minimum pay, location, functional area, job level, open date, and close date. And we can arrange them. For example, I would like after open date, maximum, and function area. And status also, whether it is open or not. So this is the status, and this is travel required. And click on, I'll give a label. position list click on ok so you can see it's a list of records of the position all the records are here now so this is our first requirement next requirement is I would like to show the list of po open positions where position name and it will to position status equal to open so how to show that for this I will be going to create a new list box over here and in this list box I would like to show the status so I will select the field status and click on state and uh, title status click on ok so this is the status and now when I click on open or close I can see that which which position is open or which position is closed so from this like this we can fulfill our requirement if the po if you want to know the number of uh, the list of positions whose position status is open you can click on open and it will show you all the records whose position is open or uh, whose status is open over here Next, we'll move on to third requirement. Third is list of open position in HR functional area. So again, I'll go to list box and I add a new list box with functional area as a field and give a title functional area. Click on OK. This is my functional area. Now my requirement is I would like to show all the open positions in HR. It means so first of all I select open, then I select HR. So I have only one. We have only one record whose function is HR and it, it is the status is open. So this is the third requirement. Fourth requirement is list of open position in Bangalore location. So again I'm going to add a new list box as a field location over here. Location and location OK. And again, I would like to show the records or I would like to display the record whose position is Bangalore, sorry, who, the whose location is Bangalore, but it is, its, uh, its status is open. So first of all, I select the status open and then I select the location Bangalore. So we have one record for the same requirement. Next is, I would like to show the list of open positions where minimum salary is greater than 6,000. So how to do that? Again, for this I will be going to create a chart over here and I will enter over here. Salary greater than at the rate 6000. I will select a straight table from here. Click on next. From here I add few dimensions. Add functional area. Then we want we have minimum salary. So I want maximum pay minimum pay then status is open or not and open date if you want to show open date and close date click on next and here we, we need to write an expression and expression will be that I would like to show the list of open position where minimum salary is greater than 6000 so my expression will be my expression will be this is my expression minimum underscore pay greater than 6000 I click on OK and I enter here minimum cell and no total finish so as you can see here we have added a record over here whose minimum salary is greater than 6000 but along with this you can see there is one column added over here minimum salary so how to eliminate this column I, what we can do is we can hide this column so how to hide this column I will click on right click on this chart go to properties presentation select the minimum cell and click on hide column so this column will be hidden and it will fulfill the requirement next is I would like to show list of close position so very very simple I can simply click on status close status is closed and this is a list of close positions and let's move on to last requirement first so last requirement is list of positions where travel is required so again I am going to add a new list box over here and it will be the field will be travel required I add a title over here travel required 
and click on OK. This is travel required and when I click on OK, it will show all the record whose travel is required. So as you can see here. Now let's come to the last requirement of this sheet that is I would like to show the list of open positions for last 10 days. It means I would like to show uh, I would like to show a list that whose open date or the who has opened in within last days. Okay, so how to show this? So this will be the expression which I will be going to use. This. So how to use this expression? Again, I right click over here, new sheet object, chart, and I'll add over here open. date or let's say list and here I select straight table click on next again I add records let's say name and uh, maximum pay minimum pay and uh, open date is must because we want to show open date and close date and status that's all next and the expression which we have mentioned over here I will be going to use the same expression over here. So if the to, so what is the expression if we'll subtract the open date from the today's and if it is less than or equal to 10, this will be true or else it will be show false over there. So no total and total and finish. So as you can see here, these are the records. If you will check the close date, so these close date and or these open dates. Sorry, these open dates are within the last date from last within last 10 days from the current date. And again, there is a column over here. So we'll again do the same thing. Go to properties, presentation, select the last column and hide the column over here. Okay. So we have completed all the six requirements or seven requirements over here. Now, so that's all in my video. Uh, I will be coming up with some new topics in new videos. Till then, have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.